That limp was actually sign of my protest. I don't know, pacifistic, maybe against the military in general, whatever. But that was also my sign of anti-communist tendencies because at that moment of my life, I was supposed to three theaters were preparing my my plays, and then I was supposed to go to military service, stay there two years, losing all connections, losing opportunities and being playing the most miserable man on the planet. So my brother tried to, he was a doctor, he thought if he make me six months paralyzed on my left leg, they're going to let me go and then the, the leg would rejuvenate or regain the, but never happened, it never happened because he didn't know how to do it. It was so terrible, it turned, everything turned into just bone and skin. There was no muscles left. Then on my little bit of exercise, little bit I got it back, and now I'm limping, trying my own exercises now every day. Potential is a dangerous word. I hate to say potential because I don't know what is potential, really. Because who the hell knows? Who, who can tell you how much you can do? Nobody. Not even you can say that. You have to simply keep working and, and always striving to be critical. Yet, even if you are critical to yourself, there is some little flame in you that will tell you, oh my God, I'm doing the right thing. That cannot be taken away from you. He's a very passionate man about, uh, about his paintings, and uh, he could spend hours and hours and hours, you know, just painting, and uh, he does. Venice was built, established actually, started 452 AD. Venice rose from the sea the same way Venus rose from the sea. Remember Birth of Venus by Botticelli? She, all of a sudden, a giant shell comes out of it, opens up, and the beautiful woman comes out of it. Knowing how, how great achievement Venice is, how unique monument of human, to human creativity Venice really is, and knowing that one day maybe she will cover Venice, at least partially, so that nobody can really live there, I decided to make a collection of art as a my sign of love and appreciation for human creativity and for Venice as a result of that human creativity. And the more I work on that project, I've been working since 1999, more and better ideas are coming. I like, uh, I like the, especially like all the different colors. He's a master of, uh, uh, of different colors, and uh, he's always trying something different. And he comes up, uh, comes up with some really great stuff, and he just keeps going.
Well, he had an apartment once where you couldn't walk. You said the paintings were stacked up. And he seems to be able to do knock out one a night or something. That's the remarkable thing. And he doesn't sell many in Chicago, but he went to D.C. once, and he sold about 40 of them. So I said, why don't you move there? It's a different market. He never did. You know, he's still painting every night. <laughs> and... This is important because you see, here I try to a little more explicitly to see the skies, dark skies. These are dark ages, by the way. You see, he's let's say 13th century AD, and she's a serenity, and he is in agony, and the whole thing is somber. You see, but there is a ship that's going somewhere. That human spirit is always alert and always trying to find way to different dimension, different discovery of some of new meanings and I think it's a positive basically message and and the point is that that we we need to understand that human there is no limit to human creativity that's why I, I love so much Star Trek and all those things because mm -hmm. that was beautiful I when I was quite quite young young fellow we had those comic books uh, they were basically made in America, United States, but then they were they came very quickly to us. There was, uh, of course, Flash Gordon and other things. These things, I wish people would 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 see how beautiful they were done and how beautiful message was. It just an encouraging message. It was not horror. Nobody was worshiping somebody who will come and eat hundred people at once or something like that. At some big monsters, it was the monsters. Why monsters? There was. There, that was time when we started exploring the outside universe. But now we have too many monsters. I think we should cut monsters. Mm. Start cutting them off slowly but surely. Anyway, everything in this place is basically between 30% and 98% done. It's not because this is a pr mostly, most, most of the done, this one here. Mm -hmm. This is, a, you see, I have a certain things that we are about fall. You see, beginning of fall or the end of summer. And uh, even the statue is sad because the summer is gone. Mm. Somehow it seemed to me only natural that that I would have somewhere sooner or later a fisherman grabbing something, some live creatures from the sea. But you know, the the the, the point is that we are exp we are taking too much of those creatures from everywhere. I mean, people are so hungry. I can see that they could eat entire planet and then ask for more. So Venus is appearing here, you see, watching the old fisherman who is here. He took so much fish and he doesn't know what to do. And some fish are sort of looking at him with kind of a innocent surprise. Why the hell you are took us from the sea here? <laughs> Man has a destructiveness that he has to control. He does take from the nature too much. And that's a basic idea about fishermen, even though that in a sense, is a symbol of uh, strength, but, a, but strength can be abuse, abusement also, mm -hmm. can, be, can do uh, lots of harm. Mm 